Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I create a shrine to the Greek goddess Persephone. Let's do some magical crafting. I'm starting this project with a 5 by 7 inch wooden box and an ornate laser cut frame. I'm also using an illustration of Persephone coupled with her sweet doggo service. I printed them on thin cardstock and then gave it a thin top coat of gloss mod podge. Setting that aside to dry, the next step is to paint the frame and the box. I'm using a bright pollen yellow and a fresh cut grass green on the top portions to represent the upper world of growing things. Persephone is a goddess of springtime. I'm painting the bottom portion in shades of gray, working from a light gray down to a dark gray and down to a deep black at the bottom to represent the underworld. Persephone is the wife of Hades and queen of the underworld. Now that the Mod Podge has dried, the next step is to trim out the goddess and her best boy, the pupper Cerberus. Cerberus is the hound of Hades who guards the underworld. His two jobs are to keep the dead in and to keep the living out. He did his job very well and was only bested on three occasions by visitors of Hades. Heracles did it with his strength. Orpheus with his music, and the Sibyl of Cumier with a honey cake. The next step is to hot glue the wooden box on top of the frame. And then I went back in with watered down burgundy red paint. I had intended to add this originally, but got distracted while chatting during the live stream that this footage was taken from. Luckily, someone reminded me. The next step is to add a layer of extreme glitter Mod Podge to the entire shrine. Mod Podge goes on as a slightly opaque white film, and as it dries it becomes clear and the glitter inside becomes more visible. And because the Mod Podge also acts as glue, I will use this layer of Mod Podge to stick down Persephone and Cerberus. If I did this project over, I think I would have added a few layers of foam tape behind the paper to give the illusion of depth to the figures inside the box. The next step is to create the floor of the underworld and I used hot glue. I'm creating stalagmites and a bumpy surface with the glue and adding some black stone skull beads all around. Again, if I did this project a second time, I think I would use some artist medium or spackle instead of the glue as it looked very shiny. So instead, I used some gray acrylic paint to cover all of the glue. With the floor of the underworld complete, the next step is to decorate the outer edge of the box. 
I decided to hot glue several red dyed freshwater pearls onto the bottom of the shrine. These pearls look just like pomegranate seeds and represent the pomegranate seeds Persephone ate that caused her to have to live a portion of every year in the underworld. At the top of the shrine, I decided to hot glue six pieces of wheat, three on each side, to represent agriculture and as a nod to Persephone's mother Demeter, with whom she lives for the rest of the year. I'm also creating a small cameo using a one inch circle of paper with a pomegranate printed on it. And I use more Mod Pods to adhere it to a metal cameo border. One of the final steps is to add a string of LED lights. These lights are connected on a copper wire and powered by thin batteries. I glue the battery pack on the back of the shrine making sure to keep the opening portion outward so the batteries can be replaced as needed and gluing the cord on the back of the shrine. Then I take the rest of the wire and begin threading it through the holes in the ornate frame and winding it around all four sides of the shrine. And here is the final shrine with the filming lights dimmed and the LED lights turned on. I love the way the wheat looks like a curtain across the front of the shrine. The glitter looks really pretty where the small lights shine on it. I love how the shrine came out despite some of the few things that I would change if I made it again. I believe it's a fitting devotion to the goddess. <laughs>